there, it's Kaylin from Movement Pilates Studio in Davidson, North Carolina. Uh, today we are talking all about neck and shoulders. So we're going to be working on uh, we're trying to relieve uh, the pain in our neck and um, referring to this pain in our neck, not any other pains in the neck that you have in your life, but hopefully this can help. Um, we are gonna be stretching the areas of the neck and the shoulders that tend to get really tight. So um, if you are like a lot of people and us Pilates teachers are not immune to this because I have a lot of tension and pain in my neck a lot and shoulders. Um, I tend to round forward here in my shoulders, so I really have to work to open up through here. So we're going to work on um, opening up the areas that tend to be tight when you have this type of pain. So obviously the neck muscles here that tend to pull the shoulders up by the ears. Um, we're going to work on also opening the, the chest here and the front of the shoulders and really trying to pull these down and back. This can be a big culprit here um, in that tightness. Um, we are going to also strengthen a lot of those muscles in our mid to lower back to try to pull those shoulder blades down so they're not creeping up here by our ears. And we're also going to work on how we, the muscles we use to find some nice extension and opening. So extension meaning um, when we kind of lift through our heart and our, our shoulders and our chest here um, and draw that, that back back of our body down so we can find that nice lift and extension. Um, so with that, let's go ahead and get started first with some stretches. So we're gonna get some neck stretches first. So I want you to find a nice easy seat here. Um, if you need to prop yourself up onto a chair, onto a towel or blanket, go ahead and do that now. And before we get started, I just want you to have um, on hand, if you have it, a foam roller. Um, also a small towel and a band, a stretchy band. So if you have those, go ahead and pause your video and grab those now. Um, otherwise, go ahead and find your nice easy seat here. And the first thing we're gonna do is just gonna loosen up those shoulders. We're gonna do some shoulder rolls as we inhale and draw those shoulders up and then exhale as we draw them back. So if, uh, if your shoulders are like mine, if you're feeling some crunches, kind of sound like Rice Krispies popping in those shoulders. Um, and that's all good stuff. Shouldn't feel painful though. You should feel just kind of a lot of stuff loosening up and moving around in there. So let's do a couple more. Inhale, arms or shoulders up and back, and then exhale, roll back. Last one, inhale, lifting up, and exhale, rolling back. All right, so now as the shoulders are back, I want you to feel that, feel that connection of the shoulders drawing down the back of the ribs, okay? So you really wanna feel those muscles in that back working to pull those shoulders down. Now try to keep those shoulders there. We're gonna find some neck stretches. So I want you to drop your right ear to right shoulder, keeping those shoulders back. And if you want a little bit extra, you can take your left hand, your fingers, straighten your arm, and go ahead and reach those fingers towards the floor. It's gonna get a little bit of extra stretch there. So you'd feel a lot going on through here. And then you can either hold that for a little bit longer, or we're gonna drop our chin towards our chest now. So you're gonna drop that chin still with that ear towards that left shoulder. We're getting more into the back here of the neck and shoulder. So you feel a little bit of a different spot. And oh, that feels kind of good in a bad kind of way for me here. These are really tight for me. All right, one more deep breath. And then go ahead and lift that head up. And we're gonna go ahead and switch to the other side. So go ahead and drop your left ear to left shoulder. Don't go too far just yet. So I do want you to feel this stretch. Don't pull, don't push it to its extreme. So we're just warming up here first. Just getting some nice gentle stretches. And then go ahead and reach your fingers long if you want that little extra stretch. And shoulders down and back here. Now drop that chin towards that chest, getting a little bit of a different spot in the back of the neck. Good, one more breath here. All right, go ahead and lift that head up now. 
Let's do a few more shoulder rolls here again. Good, one more as we lift up. Good, and lower down. And anytime you need some extra time with those stretches, just go ahead and pause the video if it feels good to hold those a little bit longer. Go ahead and do that. Um, now we're gonna grab our foam roller. So we're gonna take our roller first and place it along the mat this way, okay? So our kind of more horizontal. And we're gonna lay down onto the roller so that our, our mid, about our mid back is on the roller here. And we're gonna bring our hands behind our head to support our head. So almost imagine our, our hands are, and our arms are like a hammock for our head. Now plant your feet and I want you to lift your hips and you're gonna to start to roll in the upper back here, getting just, um, just up to the shoulders as we keep rolling. And you feel this nice massage here in your upper back in between the shoulders. This area can get really, really tight. Maybe you come up just below the neck there. Yep, this is a really nice one to do to just start loosening up those muscles. So we wanna release the muscles first before we start to work them so that we're not holding any unneeded tension. Good, let's do a couple more. Shoulders are down and away. Last one. All right, now go ahead and bring your hips back to the floor. I'm just gonna adjust my roller. And now I want you to keep your hips down, keep your hands behind your head. The roller is just about right underneath your shoulder blades there, okay? And again, you're gonna keep your head heavy in your hands. And I want you to inhale as you come over the roller. You get a nice opening here in your chest and in your shoulders. Ooh, it feels really, really nice. And then exhale, you're gonna lift back up. Maybe come into a little bit of a curl as you lift your upper chest forward. Good, and then we're gonna inhale back as we open that chest, open the shoulders. And exhale as we come back up. So we're going between extension and flexion. So we're extending our spine here as we open. And exhale, lift. All of these stretches that we're doing are fantastic if you sit a lot at a desk. Um, we tend to, over time, we'll, we'll hunch forward, round forward. This is where we get a lot of that tightness in the shoulders and the neck. Good, last one, open. And back to center. All right, and we're gonna sit on up and we're gonna take our roller and move it vertical so it's going to come along our spine so you're going to go ahead and sit on the end of the roller here and then place your feet on the mat and then you're going to roll yourself all the way down so what's nice about the roller for these stretches and exercises is that we're lifted up off the floor so our arms are able to open and our shoulders can open and our chest to expand and stretch here so first I want you to find some stability. You're gonna feel that you're gonna kind of rock a little bit side to side. So find that center point and really feel that you're trying to keep everything pulled into your center to keep that stability. Now from here, you have your back of your head on the roller, back of your pelvis, and the back of your ribs, all right? So we're gonna start with just some, um, what's called protraction and retraction, which is just a fancy term for saying we're sliding our shoulders away from our spine and then we're gonna slide our shoulders back together. So arms are gonna reach up towards the ceiling without pulling your spine off of the roller. You're gonna reach those fingertips towards the ceiling. Imagine that your shoulder blades are like um, curtains on a stage. They're sliding apart as they reveal the people that are up there. And then you're gonna go ahead and plug your shoulder blades back in as you squeeze them towards your roller. And then you reach them apart and then you squeeze them back together. So our shoulders should have mobility. They should be able to move easily and they should also be, you should be able to stabilize them as well. So we're gonna work on that stabilization in the next part, but here we're working on that mobility. They should be able to flow freely on the back of the ribs. Good. Now keep your arms still, and we're gonna open the arms now and close, open them towards the floor, feeling that nice stretch, and then we're gonna bring them back up towards the ceiling. 
and then we open and back to center. So just here, just getting that nice gentle stretch in the front of the chest and shoulder. You might start to feel which of your shoulders feel tighter. I'm definitely tighter more on my left side. Good, let's do one more. We're gonna open and back center. All right, now we're gonna bring the arms up and down. So we're gonna keep our ribs connected to the roller but we're gonna bring those arms back behind us. Only so far you can go that the ribs don't pop off and then bring them back to center. And here we'll lift and back to center. Feel more of that stretch in the front of the shoulder, the front of the chest here and up. Good, let's do two more. Reach back and lift, last one. Still feeling those pops and Rice Krispies here. And back to center. All right, now we're gonna do circles. So we're gonna combine those couple of movements here. We're gonna bring the arms down by your sides. Start to open the palms up towards the ceiling as you circle the arms open and then back up. And then again, we come down, circle open and up and down. So here we're getting the arm circling here in the shoulder, getting some nice mobility. And circle and lift. We're gonna reverse that as we bring the arms up. Circle open and lift. Good, a few more. If you're having trouble staying steady, you can widen your feet on the mat for a little bit more stability. And lift, last one, open, good, and lift. All right, we're gonna add on one other thing here to get more of our lower body and core working as well as we move those arms. So I want you to go ahead and bring your right arm to the floor, left arm's gonna reach towards the ceiling. Now really press this hand into the floor for some stability. And then you're gonna reach your left, I'm sorry, your right knee to tabletop, okay? Now, as you reach this left arm back, you're gonna reach your right leg forward and then go ahead and bring it back to center. So a lot of stabilizing work here. Now, as you bring that left arm back, make sure it's not up by the ear, but you have space between the shoulder and the ear. Good, and lift. Last one on this side, lengthen. A lot of wobbling and shaking going on and back to center. Go ahead and bring that, that right foot down, left hand, and then we'll switch to the other side. So left leg, right arm here, stabilize. And once you have that, you're gonna inhale, reach and lengthen apart. Exhale, pull everything center. Really important as you move here to keep the back of the ribs engaged into that roller. Once you start to arch the ribs off and arch your back, you're gonna lose that stability in your center. And that's where you're gonna feel like you're more wobbly and you can't quite get that stability. Reach and in last one, lengthen, reach. Beautiful and in. Go ahead and lower that leg and that arm down by your side. And however you want to come off to the roller, it's never graceful, but you're going to go ahead and roll yourself off to the side. Roll your roller out and go ahead and bring it um, over to the side here. We won't need that anymore for today. Um, what I do want you to do, though, is you're going to come into an all fours position. So you're going to have your hands here under your shoulders, knees under your hips. Okay, so we have that nice long spine, crown of the head to the pelvis. Center, your belly button's pulling in and up to your spine here. And then keeping your arms straight, I want you to drop your chest towards the floor. And then you're gonna go ahead and press away. So this is that movement we're getting here again on the back of the shoulder. You can probably see it a little bit more now here. Okay, and I'm actually, you guys stay where you are and keep doing that. I'm just gonna show you here. So by looking at my back, you can See my shoulder blades now squeezing together, that they're coming towards the spine, and then you reach the fingers forward as you slide the shoulders apart. So that's that movement that we're getting here as you squeeze the shoulders together, and then you reach them apart. Good, let's do two more on your hands and knees. 
Letting the chest sink towards the floor. And then lift, last one, and come down. And back up, perfect. All right, now, no more sliding of the shoulders. We're gonna find that stability, so they're gonna be like glued to your rib cage. So I don't want those shoulders to move now. We're just gonna find a kneeling plank position to find that stability. So you'll walk your knees back a little bit. You'll shift your hips forward. Arms are straight. Uh, wrists are under your shoulders and you're just gonna hold here okay so just hold imagine that you're trying to pull your belly in and up right as you lengthen that lower back here shoulders drawing down 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 and then we hold it for four three two and one good all right now we're gonna come into a full plank if that doesn't work for you stay with that kneeling plank position so just finding a little bit more stability here in those shoulders. So if you can, you're gonna reach one leg back and then the other, and you're gonna find your hold here. Now what can often happen is the shoulders wanna start to creep up by the ears or you sink yourself down in your upper body. I want you to draw your shoulders down, press away from the floor, okay? This is really getting some nice shoulder stability work here as you're working all those muscles to take the pressure off of the neck and the tops of the shoulders. Let's hold for three, two, whoo, I'm shaking, last one, and then go ahead and lower those knees down. Perfect. All right, a couple more things we're gonna do here. So your hands are gonna stay on the floor. We're gonna come back to that kneeling position for a tricep push-up. So why this is important is because we're finding that stability again here in the shoulders, okay? No shoulders up here, shoulders down, elbows are gonna stay by your sides. With that long spine, we start to bend our elbows as we bring our body towards the floor, and then we press back up. Good, so we bend. Don't let your head drop down first. Your whole body moves as one piece. We bend and extend. Good, last one, shoulders down connected, and then we bend and press good let's go ahead and come off those arms here maybe sink back into that child's pose reach the arms forward take some pressure off those shoulders all right let's go ahead and come up to kneeling now um, we're going to grab our band so we're going to come um i'm going to come onto my knees here and you're gonna go ahead and open your, your arms here. So arms are gonna be straight, and this, the arms are wider than your shoulders. So we're gonna get some more mobility here and an opening in our chest and the front of our shoulders. So keeping those arms straight, I want you to go ahead and bring those arms up and back behind you. Now once you're here, hold for a second. Make sure you're not scrunched up here. Draw those shoulders down, find some width there. And then you're gonna bring the arms back behind you. That's where you feel that stretch in your chest. And then you bring the arms down. Then we'll do that again as the arms come forward, lift up, and then lower back down. This one is one of my favorite stretches for my shoulders and upper body. Really feels so good and so nice. If you have a, um, a PVC pipe, you can get it like a hardware store actually really nice to do it with that instead of a stretchy band. Feels really, really good. I unfortunately do not have one of those. All right, let's do one more here. Good, and bring the arms down. All right, again, take some extra time if you need to to do some more of those because those do feel really, really nice. Um, now we're gonna, we're gonna take our arms and have them just about, just a little bit wider than shoulder distance. I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see me. Okay, we're gonna do what's called um, like a press back or a chest expansion here with our arms. So you have tension here in your band. Your shoulders are down and back. You're finding that proper alignment here. And we're gonna to start to press the band down and with the tension, you're gonna to start to press the arms back behind you and then you bring the arms back forward. And then we do that again. We press the arms back 
and then we bring the arms forward. So you want to imagine as you're pressing back, you're trying to reach your knuckles as far towards the floor as you can while still keeping your shoulders back. That will help to drive those shoulders down. Good. Let's do three more and press. Feel that whole back of the arm, back body. Good, last two. And last one, this time I want you to hold it back here. We're gonna do small little pulses, so straight arms, press back for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And then we bring that band off to the side. All right, we're gonna stay facing this way and come all the way down to the floor now. So we're now gonna find some extension in our upper back. So in this, in an ex, with an extension, that means you're, you're lifting yourself so that your upper back is arching up and back here. And that's gonna help to bring those shoulders open and back as well. So we're gonna just work on something called swan in Pilates. So you're gonna bring your hands to the floor so they're pretty much right under your shoulders, maybe a little bit farther down. Widen your legs about mat distance apart. Bring your forehead to the mat. Now once you're here, I want you to lift your belly up and away from the floor. Lengthen your lower back here. That's important to protect your back. All right, now once you have that, you're gonna slide and roll your shoulders open and back. Start to press into your hands as you inhale. Lift, keep your elbows by your sides. Keep your head in line with your spine. Good, and then we lower back down. So we're gonna do that again. Set the shoulders onto the back, pull the belly in, elbows close to the sides as you press and lift. And we lower. Good, three more, inhale. Good, with the opening that we've already done in our shoulders and our chest, this should feel pretty good. You shouldn't feel as tight in that area. Like you can find some more freedom of movement as you move up and down. Good, and lower. Take the tiny time you need, move slower if you need to. Do one more, belly in. Low back lengthens, press into the hands and we lift and lower back down. Awesome, all right. Let's go ahead and press back up and back. One more child's pose here. Good, now go ahead and come up to a seated position. We're gonna do one last stretch here on our side. So this is where the towel can come in handy so you can prop your head up a little bit if you need to. So you're gonna come and lay down on your left side. So your shoulders are stacked here, your hips are stacked, and your arms are gonna reach out in front of you. So we're gonna do what's called a windmill. So your knees are bent, your, your legs are just nice and stable, they're not gonna be doing too much here. I want you to take this top arm, reach it forward, and then start to circle the arm along the floor as you bring it all the way back behind you. Start to open your palm towards the ceiling in your chest. It's gonna feel really good as you open that arm back, twisting the spine back, and then you circle the arm back forward and reach it back to center to your starting position. Let me do that again. So reach the arm forward first, then you start to reach the arm farther out and around you as you circle open. I could just hang out here. This feels so good. If you guys wanna take a few extra seconds to just hold that stretch, go ahead and do that. And then we come back to center. We've got one more just like that. So reach, open. Now that we've loosened up those shoulders, opened up that chest, it should feel really, really nice. And then go ahead and bring it back to center. Good. And then we'll go ahead and do that on the other side. Let's go ahead and press yourself up. I'm already feeling better. I hope you guys are too. All right, let's go ahead and bring your head down now on your right side. Prop that up a little bit more. 
Shoulders and hips are stacked here. Top arm on your bottom arm, knees are bent. Now go ahead and reach this top arm forward. Start to circle this arm open. So this one I don't really want you to think so much about. Right, so we're not really holding anything or, you know, I just it's just a nice free flowing movement. So just really make it feel good, whatever that means for you. Just feel that nice stretching, the circling of the arm, the chest opening. Hopefully your neck feels a lot looser as well. And we're gonna do one more reaching forward, circle open, and again, hold it if you need to hold it for a little bit longer here. I actually recommend that if that's something you'd like to do because it can really just continue to stretch that left shoulder down even more. And then open, sweeping back around and back to center. All right, we are gonna finish up in a seated position, finding that um, either cross-legged position or on a chair or on a stool, um, wherever you can find that nice, easy seat, all right? So this is how we started. So see how you feel now. Do you feel any different than when we first started? Do you feel a little bit looser in your shoulders, a little bit looser in your neck? Are you able to find that nice proper alignment here in your upper body without um, causing or without holding too much tension? So hopefully uh, that helped you guys today. Um, feel free to come back to this as you need to if you're feeling extra tension or just be proactive about it. Try to do some of these stretches and, and exercises every day and that should help um, throughout your day. So uh, thank you for joining us today and uh, we hope to see you back on the mat soon. Thanks. Bye-bye. Hey guys, it's Kaylin. Thanks so much for watching today's video. If you liked what you saw, uh, we have some more videos on our page, so please subscribe. Thanks.